Hello friends, Osiris here and the next 7 star terror raid event has finally been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details as well as when this event will be running in today's video. So it's been about a month since the last 7 star terror raid event was happening in Scarlet and Violet. That was the Meganium of course, but we finally have, as a few minutes ago of recording this video, confirmation of the next 7 star terror raid event which will be coming to our games this Thursday at the 10th of May through until the 12th for its first time out and it will be featuring Prim Arena. Let's take a look at all the details. The next 7 star terror raid event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event will feature a battle against Prim Arena with the Fairy Terra type and the Mightiest Mark. It can only be caught once per save file as per usual with the 7 star terror raid Pokemon and this event will run from midnight UTC on the 10th of May through to 2359 UTC on the 12th of May and again from the 17th until the 19th of May for its second time out which also may include the return of the Blissey Terror Shard rewards. So that is normally what we'd see on the second time out for a Terror Raid event recently when we've seen the Meganium return for its second time out along with it came the Blissey Terror Raid Spotlight event where you can farm level up candies and terror shards very easily so it's likely we'll see that the second time out for primarina on that 17th to the 19th so just keep an eye on that one and it's also worth noting as well with the meganium that we had which was the last seven star terror raid event it did drop all of the herba mysticas as well so it was a really good opportunity to go and farm those items which are really valuable in game and it's likely that we'll see the same thing happening as well for the primarina when that does come for first time out on the 10th of May later this week. Of course, it is a pure fairy terror type as well. So you're going to be wanting to bring things that are strong against fairy types. But of course, if you are wanting to prepare some builds going into this event when it goes live later this week, we'll have a full rundown of the event coming up on the channel in the next couple of days. So do keep an eye out for that one and we'll get some best builds put together for you to prepare so you have an easy time when the event goes live. It's also worth noting as well as of recording this video today, if you're watching this on the 6th, you do have a little bit of time left to take advantage of the Walking Wake event that is running with that Iron Leaves and also the Mass Outbreak event that is running as well, but that will be coming to an end this evening. So once it ticks over to the 7th of May, which is not too long away as of recording this video, like I say, these events will be going away. But if you've got them already in your game, don't go online if you want to keep them until we do see this event for Primarina going live later this week. But at the end of the day, it's very nice to see the 7 star Terror Raid events returning to game. And it hopefully it means that we're going to see a more regular flow of these seven star terror raid events along with other mass outbreak events happening in the coming weeks it would be nice to see some other pokemon that we haven't got access to in the games but for the moment it looks like they're still going through the start a kind of schedule that they've got for the mightiest mark pokemon so maybe further down the line we'll see some other oddball picks maybe some legendaries maybe even some mythicals we can keep our fingers crossed let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on the primarina it, nothing else it's going to be good to just add to the collection if you're collecting the mightiest mark pokemon and of course farming for those herba mystica drops but as usual like i've already mentioned we will be covering a good preparation guide later this week on the channel for this event as well as the best solo pokemon to take into the event when the event goes live on that thursday evening so that is everything for today's video friends thank you so much for tuning in if you've enjoyed it please drop a like do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon skull and violet content as well as the best builds when this event goes live and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye